In today's video, I'm gonna be talking about my must-have tops and jackets for this fall slash winter season. What is up you guys, Stevie here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I wanna to talk to you guys the types, like the specific pieces in regards to jackets and tops that I will be sporting for this time of the year. I'll run you guys through each piece, kinda of talk about why I feel as though each one is so essential, how I'd style it, where you can get it, and all that good stuff. As always, it definitely gets chatty here. You guys already know what it is, so do what you have to do. Grab a snack, grab a drink, and just kinda of relax with me for a bit. Definitely be sure to watch and catch up on all of my other fall and fall slash winter related fashion content. I've been working overtime lately to make sure that I'm coming through with some banger content for you guys. So as always, links to everything worn, all of like my recent videos and stuff, pretty much everything that you see and hear me talk about in this video will be linked in the description box down below. And without further ado, let's get into this video. All right, starting things off with a jacket that I have just been gravitating towards so much lately. It is a trench coat. This one specifically is just an oversized Uniqlo trench coat that I got a couple years back when I visited Japan. Something about Uniqlo is that they do tend to always come back and re-release the Uniqlo U pieces that they came out with in the previous years. So I'm sure that you guys can find not necessarily this one specifically, but you can find a trench coat from Uniqlo U on their website right now. It's one of those jackets that you can just easily throw on pretty much any outfit. You can be wearing something casual, you can be wearing something dressy, and it instantly adds a really nice smart layer to your overall outfit and just kind of elevates your whole entire look. Something I also love about trench coats is that you can get them at pretty much anywhere ranging from different price points and you can get it from a more affordable option such as again Uniqlo, H&M, Cause, or you can even go ahead and invest in one something from like Acme Studios, Burberry, etc. Love trench coats so much because I just feel as though, like I said, it's easy. It's something that you don't necessarily have to think about. And for the most part, you can find it pretty much anywhere. Something I forgot to mention too is a really good place to find trench coats is the thrift store. So if you're looking for something that's a little bit warmer, but you still want to come through with a nice like layer and jacket for this time of the year, a really good overcoat is going to do just that. This one is also from Uniqlo. This coat right here, I can't speak more highly of, if that makes any sense. This coat right here, it feels so nice and the fit and just the overall like silhouette and just like the details in regards to like the oversized one button on the top and then how like the lapel hides all the other buttons, the really nice big pockets and just kind of the way the actual jacket sits on your your body all the while holding like its shape is just it's just too good honestly Uniqlo definitely knew what they were doing when they came out with this coat right here this comes in other colors as well so I'll be sure to leave this link down below the reason why I love an overcoat so much for this time of the year is because I mean, it's pretty common sense. It's cold. You want to layer up, you want to bundle up and you want to still come through with a casual flex and you want to make sure that your outfit is a banger with a new season being here definitely means switching up the vibe and trying new things. If any of you guys are into colognes, perfumes, fragrances, and just scents and just smelling good overall, today's video sponsor Semperd is perfect for you. Semperd is an amazing monthly subscription service that allows you guys to try new scents every single month. On the Semperd website, they offer hundreds on hundreds on hundreds of amazing brands that you guys can choose from. When you guys receive your monthly Semperd order, it just comes in this really nice twist-like component and then the in which you tried that month is inside the component and it's of course labeled. This month I tried some amazing scents from various brands again ranging from like different types of brands whether it be like the designer end to the more affordable end. I feel like with the holidays being right around the corner I personally always gravitate towards more richer scents during this time of the year. Things that have notes of citrus, wood, or even kind of like fire sort of vibe just to again kind of really curate and get that whole like holiday vibe going. And so with that being said my favorite from this month's Scentbird order is definitely hands down this one right here from Aqua de Parma. It literally smells kind of like Christmas in a cologne and that's kind of what I want to embody during this time of the year. As you guys can see the Scentbird vial is fairly small but you'd be surprised a little does go a long way and this guy right here definitely lasts a while and that's just like what I love about Scentbird. I love kind of the whole concept of being able to try new things without spending a ton of money and not to mention I love kind of the various and wide assortment of brands that you can choose from on their website. So if any 
of you guys are interested in checking out Scentbird, I do have a really nice and fairly big discount code that you guys can use to start getting Scentbird for only $11 a month. So if you guys, again, are interested, I would highly recommend checking out Scentbird. I will have the scents in which I tried this month, links to everything, and my discount code up on the screen, as well as linked and type in the description box down below. And once again, much love to Scentbird for sponsoring this video and supporting my channel and keeping me smelling fresh and low-key smelling like Christmas for this holiday season. The sweater that I'm wearing right now, this is what I deem as another essential for this time of the year. Just basically a good, like thick, really high quality sweater. It doesn't necessarily have to be like this one specifically, but although I do really like this one, this is from the team over at Alyssa Block. They just recently gifted me this. The quality, the fit, the weight, the cut, just like all the little details of this sweater goes crazy. A ton of you guys have actually like DM'd me and told me personally that I put you guys onto Alyssa Block. So I love to hear that. I love like supporting small brands where I can. And I personally know the team over at Illicit Block and they are amazing. And they're always so kind, which is like blessing me with some gems here and there. I feel like the key with a sweater is to make sure that the silhouette and the cut is perfect to your specific body. As you guys can see from the B-roll clips and kind of just like the photos and stuff, this is a somewhat cropped sweater with a pretty thick, like high neck, almost kind of like a mock neck situation. That is personally what I like to gravitate towards for this time of the year. Whatever you feel like is your style, your taste, just kind of lean into that and then style that up. But yeah, like I said, this sweater goes crazy. I personally will be living in this all fall slash winter. I love kind of like the gray with the nice little embroidery on the chest part right here. And the neck, like the neck just hits different. The neck is definitely like one of those things that not every brand usually does. And that's what I love about Alyssa Block. They're always, always, always coming through with a tight, thick neck in regards to their garments. And it just, it just hits every single time. So something that I also have been loving a lot lately. To be fair, I've been loving all of these pieces, but I have been loving on this one a lot. It is this vest slash gilet from Zara in this somewhat kind of like padded like situation and material. If you guys watch my recent Zara haul, you would know I was so gassed to find this. It is giving me all the whole Buxton kind of like designer vibes for a fraction of the price. I did mention that I still will be purchasing the Co Buxton one and I plan to do so. This is definitely a good affordable alternative and I feel like a vest or a gilet, whatever you want to refer to it as, I feel like it's such a good essential for this time of the year because it's an another layering piece, but it's also a piece that just kind of like makes every outfit lean more towards the casual side of things. And so if that's your style, if you like wearing like a sweatsuit and like some sneakers, but you kind of want to dress it up, I would opt for this lay right here and then throw over a coat, whether it be like a trench coat or an overcoat to get like some really nice dimension and layers happening. I just feel like this is such a really good practical top option for this time of the year. And for $45.90 from Zara, it was definitely a good find. And I can see myself holding onto this for years to come even though it is still fast fashion just try and be a little bit more conscious about what you buy and so if you see something you like just really ask yourself how long am i going to have this piece what's the quality like how can i style it up with multiple other things that i have in my closet and is it just going to be a piece that i'm actually going to really like and this vest slash gilet right here from zara definitely ticks all of those boxes for me this next piece right here is kind of like a two for one. And so with this next category of like tops and jackets, I want to talk about two separate points. And I'm going to be talking about overshirts as well as padded or puffer style garments. As you can see, this overshirt style jacket right here from Uniqlo is kind of a little bit of both because it's an overshirt silhouette. But in regards to the actual material, it kind of feels somewhat of like a padded and or like puffer jacket situation. I feel like an overshirt during the fall and winter season is like an obvious no-brainer and then so is a puffer or padded style sort of garment and so something like this right here is perfect because it's kind of like a two for one you don't necessarily like this right here and opt for just another regular puffer jacket garments like this when you kind of combine the two is kind of a nice mix up from just a traditional overshirt as well as the traditional puffer jacket i personally would kind of style this down and lean it more towards the casual side of things because it is so oversized which is what i intentionally did when i purchased just this. I feel like this is a really good top and or jacket option when you are just again wanting to lean things towards the more casual side. You kind of want to be a little bit more cozy maybe when you're like running errands or if you're just grabbing a quick coffee or something. You don't necessarily want to commit to a full overcoat or trench coat. I feel like this kind of overshirt style padded jacket is a really great option. I could see myself wearing this with maybe like a really nice turtleneck underneath or even like this sweater, pants and some sneakers and then call it a day and maybe like a hat and a tote bag 
bag or something. But yeah, this is another really great find from the Uniqlo U range. I feel like this year's Uniqlo U range was definitely a hit. I was supposed to do a video on it, but I just, I've just been so busy lately. So I kind of like, it just kind of didn't make its way in my content calendar. Nonetheless, I'm really excited to be showing you guys some really good pieces from the Uniqlo U range in this video right here. You guys already know what it is. I had to save the last piece as kind of like the final banger of this whole entire video. I am talking about a really good chunky knit for the fall slash winter season, such as this one right here from Ami Paris. If you guys have been keeping up with the videos, you would know that I got this a couple months ago, I believe from a, another collaboration I did with Farfetch. And ever since I got it, I have also been just wearing the crap out of this piece right here. I love of blue underneath, like just neutral tones, whether it be like an all black outfit and all gray outfit i just feel like that nice little pop of a singular color is definitely something that i'm trying to do more during this time of the year when you think of fall and winter you don't necessarily think of blue but kind of what i said earlier on in this video i've been loving blue lately and so i just kind of feel like that's like what i've been doing but kind of going back into just like the chunky knit being an essential for this time of the year it's kind of an obvious one and the difference between a chunky knit and a sweater is a sweater is just like a regular like cotton like material versus a knit it's like an actual heavyweight knit and so you'll see from like the bureau clips like this is a very heavyweight knitted situation and fabric liked material it's not a sweater there's a difference and so i feel like sweaters like this this would be so perfect for events or occasions or just when you're trying to dress up a little bit more. I could totally see myself wearing this, a really nice overcoat, some pants, chunky boots, and then maybe, just maybe, doing my hair. If you guys, if you guys are regulars, you know what it is. It's kind of like an inside joke because I, I don't ever show you guys my hair. Anyways, this piece is definitely a banger. This Ami Paris turtleneck comes in so many other colors. I know it's a bit pricey, but I truly just can't speak highly enough about the quality of this set piece right here. So if you're for Fortunate enough to kind of get some money during the holidays or you have like some extra money laying around during Christmas time, I would highly recommend purchasing yourself and treating yourself to this Ami Paris turtleneck right here.